Hello and welcome to a new video. This one has been a long time in the making only because it took me so long to make this quilted jacket. But today I'm gonna to take you through a behind the scenes and how I made this little guy behind me right here. If you're new to our channel, I'm Tara. My sister Ellen and I have a channel here on YouTube and we make videos twice a week about fashion, business and careers. So today you've got me for a bit of a sewing fashion content video. Quilted jackets have been trending for a little while now, but the thing that really got me wanting to make one was this beautiful quilted jacket I saw at And Other Stories, which had this really cool floral quilted motif. It only came in neutral colors and it was also going to be a lot of money to ship here in New Zealand. So in typical me fashion, I was like, yeah, I can make that. But I didn't quite realize how long it would take. On top of deciding I was going to hand quilt daisies onto a pink fabric, I also wanted it to be double-sided. My pink side is just a plain bubblegum colored shirting. And then my reverse cream side is in a recycled cotton twill. Both of these are from the fabric store. I was using the Vicky Sews Cheryl jacket, which I did end up making a few tweaks onto. And then because I wanted to make this quilted cool jacket double-sided, I ended up having to cut six layers of every pattern piece. So a lining and the main fabric, as well as a padding wadding fabric in between. <laughs> so that in itself took quite a while. Eventually I got there, I had all six layers for all of the pieces so it's basically like two jackets. I did test out my idea before I got too far along just on a little square of fabric. For the flowers I found that it worked a lot better if I hand basted it first in the shape of the flower. It meant that I got less twisting and like warping of the fabric on both sides. So this is when things started to take a while. So I hand basted all of my layers together, so the three layers. I started out by doing a grid so that the base would stay the same. For my plain cream side, I ended up just leaving it as the grid. But on my pink side, I hand traced around with a little flower template that I'd made using a disappearing pen. And then I hand stitched the flowers in to hold it in place. This probably took the longest out of the entire process, but it did mean the end result turned out really nice and really smooth. So once I knew my testing was working, I basted the proper pattern pieces. I knew the cream side would be a little bit quicker because I just had to do the grid basting and then the sewing, I just sewed in straight lines on top. So I started with that and pinned the whole jacket together. It really did look a little bit like a mattress. I think it was a combo of the type of quilting style I did and the fact that it was like a cream mattressy colored fabric <laughs> didn't help. So Nathan sent me some inspiration from Shona Joy where they had done a double layer on their quilting and I thought that looked cool and I definitely think it helped a little bit, a little bit to reduce the mattress vibes. When I pinned the jacket and tried it on, I realized that I wanted to make a few tweaks. I made the shoulders a little bit straighter because they were kind of bubbling out a bit and then I cut off a little bit at the front and did the same with my pink pattern pieces. I did use the Frankie Shop quilted jacket as a bit of inspo as well. I was definitely going for that really oversized look which the Frankie Shop one had. I trimmed the pink side before I did all the flowers so I didn't need to do any extra flowers. <laughs> Once I got all of my flowers hand basted, Sewing them together also was quite tricky. I would spend a lot of time spinning my fabric around on the sewing machine, but I got there in the end. <laughs> I felt like I dreamed about turning fabric round corners. <laughs> Once everything was stitched, there was also a lot of basting to pull out, which was kind of satisfying. And then seeing the full design, it was really pretty. <laughs> And then I could finally put it together. I overlocked all the edges together, so all three layers, and then I sewed them together. Basically sewed two full jackets in all the main seams. And then once the two jackets were done, I sewed around the neck and the sleeves and turned it through, except the first time I did it, I forgot that I had to do the sleeves a certain way. And I ended up attaching it into this weird like backpack contraption. <laughs> So I unpicked the sleeves and redid them. I did them so that they were facing this way instead of sitting like this. Then we got there and I had a reversible jacket. Hooray! So I pressed everything flat and did a top stitching line around the edge. For the cream side I also made some big rectangular pockets 
I ended up top stitching these separately and then hand sewing them on and I ended up not putting any pockets on the flower side because I thought it would make it quite chunky having so many layers but also it had taken so long to do the floral quilting I didn't really feel like doing two more squares. <laughs> The final touch was adding some snap fasteners. Instead of the usual backing, I actually used two fronts so that I could have the reversible look and both sides had the nice little silver dome. So that is how I made my quilted jacket. I'm kind of proud of it. I feel like I should be a little bit more creative in some of my sewing. So this year I have a few ideas for projects of things that like are a little bit more creative. They're not just taking the pattern out of the box. I've also filmed a video of all of my plans for sewing for 2022. If I go through them as slow as I did this jacket, I don't think I'm going to get them done, but we're going to try to be faster this year. So subscribe if you're interested in seeing that video, it will be up soon. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Honestly, just please give it a thumbs up because I put so much effort into this jacket and I hope you can appreciate it. And maybe it will inspire you to do something a bit more creative with your sewing and take a different take on a pattern that you've bought. But for now, that's it. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.